What's up, guys? I'm Brad U. Welcome, fellow sketch card artists, collectors, enthusiasts. This is going to be take two on this video. <laughs> I just recorded a probably 10 minute video and didn't realize that only the first 10 seconds recorded. So, anyway, I've been meaning to do a video like this for a while. Um, I just wanted to kind of show, share my own personal collection of sketch cards and what I guess I would call sketch card prints, um, trading cards that were originally sketch card sized. I kind of, in order to get into my own collection, I kind of need to back it up and say that I started with tr trying to collect artwork cards a long time ago, um, years ago with stuff like Donruss Diamond Kings baseball, Upper Deck hockey, and Upper Deck various sports sets. Had a bunch of these um, paintings that were, you know, these were larger paintings, but the artwork was used for the trading cards. And I always thought that was cool as an artist myself and as a trading card collector. So what I did when I started creating art, I always, I did tons of MMA artwork. That's a whole different story dating back to 2001. And I ended up creating my own trading card set, which is what I'm flipping through here. Some of these are actually sketch cards, some of the more recent ones, um, recent being the last couple of years. But a lot of these are larger artwork shrunk down to card size too. But um, I did the printing through Iconics, which I highly recommend. Um, quality I thought was really nice. These are actually my business cards, but I call it a MMA artwork trading card set, and I plan to expand it with more more of my newer stuff that's not all MMA, since I've been doing you know fan art type stuff the last couple of years, and non-sports and other sports. Um, so anyway, I love to collect sketch cards, but as an artist without a lot of money and trying to keep the hobby to a reasonable spending level I can't get a lot of originals and um, so I pick up sketch card prints whenever I can that could be something that an artist printed up on their own that could be something that is part of an official trading card set I guess I'll get into that I'll start with uh, I'll show you my box this is my collection Um, I have very few originals, but I'll start with those. Some of them have neat-ish stories to go with them. And the first original sketch cards I ever got that weren't drawn by me were these. I bought them in a lot on eBay because I found a pretty good deal, and I actually recognized Brent Naughton. He's a cool artist that does a lot of similar stuff to what I do, a lot of sports art. Um, by Q, you see, I see a lot of his stuff on eBay. Equation. This is an artist I've since been in contact with, Stephen Burkett, and even did a trade with. I'll show you some of those in a minute. This is kind of cool. It's pe it's mostly pencil, but he looks like he used marker probably for the hat. And this one, Carlos Zambrano. It says one of one sketch. The back says it's an original, authentic sketch card. I don't buy it. <laughs> I'm not sold. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I feel like I can see the printing dots there. I think somebody drew the squiggly stuff, but that this image here is not an actual drawing. But it's, I could be wrong. Um, either way, it doesn't matter to me. The other ones are cool. So those were the first ones I got, and that got me kind of like keeping my eye out for deals on eBay and stuff. I got a deal fairly recently that had both of these. I like the Crow one especially. Um, I don't think these are from an official set, though they do, oops, they do have blue line art. Brian Pierce is the artist on the Crow one. And the other artist is Mark Tanacore. Um, those are kind of cool. I like to see 
what other artists can do on the same size surface I'm working on. So I like to collect them to collect, but I also try and sometimes draw inspiration from seeing other artists' sketch cards and stuff. Uh, let's do these somewhat in order. This this was a really cool one. This guy's semi-local, Floyd, Floyd Mann Sumner. He's from Salem, Oregon, and I'm in Portland. Um, he does an awesome kind of promotion called $6 Sketch Card Sunday, and pretty much every Sunday he posts up a sketch card for 6 bucks. and I saw this one, and I was like, I'm grabbing it. <laughs> Skeletor, it's pretty rad, and I've since been in talk, talks with him, and he seems like a really cool guy. I should meet up with him at some point. I like He-Man. I like Skeletor more than he, man. <laughs> so that was a cool one for a good price. Um, this has a pretty decent story. This is another local artist, Neil George or Jorge. I'm not quite sure how he pronounces his last name. And uh, he was doing, I didn't know he was local until he posted an ad that he was going to be doing free sketches at a coffee shop. And as I'm looking at the ad, it's in Portland, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Maybe I should try to go. And then I look at the address, and the coffee shop was on 58th, the street that I live on, basically, just a few blocks up. <laughs> and I was like, holy smokes. I knew right where it was. I didn't know it was a coffee shop or a comic shop. But I trotted on down there and talked art with him for a few minutes, and asked him to draw me up a sketch card. He was doing larger drawings, but I collect sketch cards, so I actually had a blank on me <laughs> just in case so that I could uh, ask him to do one. Um, and I, I kind of gave him freedom. I said a Star Wars character would be cool, and this is what he came up with, you know, and he did it pretty quick and while we were chatting, so that was awesome. It was an awesome experience, um, and then I bought a couple prints from him, too. Um, thought it was cool of him to be doing free sketches, so felt bad taking him up on that. Um, this is a really cool one, Gandalf and Radagast, is that that dude's name? The artist is Eric Muller, I believe, though I've heard it pronounced Mueller. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Muller. Um, I really like his work. He does a lot of pen and ink with just blue and red and black ink, which makes for a pretty distinct style. And of all of the... I actually did a trade with him for an original, which I haven't done too many times, but I would be open to it um, depending on the circumstances. But anyway, of the ones he had that he was willing to trade, I picked this one because it's most... it's most representative of his style. I really dig his art. So I pre I I really have fun trading with other other artists. Not it doesn't have to be for originals. Um, prints are actually preferred because they're cheaper, and I don't want to trade too many of my own originals. Um, just because I'm an artist, I gotta be making money. <laughs> um, hope that doesn't come across wrong, but I like to trade prints because I've got a lot of prints to trade. Uh, the bad news is they're mostly MMA stuff. I do have some baseball, basketball, football, very limited, a couple Game of Thrones. I'm looking into doing a, a, a print run of some of my newer work, to, so I would add like 20 different ones that are non-sports, just for a, some variety, um, both to expand for my business cards and also to have more trade bait. Um, more on that later. This one I picked up at a card show a couple weeks ago. Um, I just kind of thought it would be cool to have. So these these were some of, they're not the first sketch cards, but some of the oldest sketch cards. These are from probably, what, 2008? I actually thought they would have been way older than that. Um, and a lot of these artists had gigantic numbers they were supposed to do on short deadlines. And back then, sketch cards were taken more literally. So this artist, this particular artist, did probably 100, maybe even 500 sketches that looked pretty much identical to this one. 
Um, but I found it at a show, and I got a pretty good deal on that and a few other cards, which I may get to here in a minute. So those are all the originals I own right there um, that are from other artists. Of course, I have a bunch of my... Oh, wait. I got one more to show you. This is a sad story. I don't know what the heck happened. I just got these yesterday. Um, the artist. Oh, I don't... You know what? I don't even know his name. Rob something. I know him as Dr. House on Instagram. But anyway, he was drawing G.I. Joe guys. And I was like, these these dudes are awesome. I love G.I. Joe. And um, they were way too cheap. I don't usually buy originals, but I got them so cheap, I was like, I got to at least get a couple of these. So he drew up some Dreadnoughts for me, and then he even threw in a couple free ones on top of that. So I got no complaints about the guy. Um, he went all out. The bad news is these cards showed up in the sweltering heat, and they, they were like sweating. They were completely drenched. You're not going to be able to see it here. They're all dried out now, but you probably can see at least that they're kind of warped. I actually tore her getting out, so see how the card is shorter. Actually, part of the card tore off when I was trying to take it out of the plastic before I realized that they were like all the way soaked. I was like, what is going on? And I'm trying to pry it out. So it was really a bummer. Um, see that? It's warped, so I can't even get it back into there. But I thought, I thought the art was cool, and the fact that he was doing a G.I. Joe series was super cool. And I salvaged these the best I could. They still look cool, but clearly the um, colors faded pretty bad, and they're warped. They don't look so bad now that they're re- in a, in a new penny sleeve and top loader. So I'm hanging on to them. Um, but it was a bummer. I would really like to know what the heck happened. How the... He I'm sure it was related to the heat, but how did the heat cause that? Because I'm shipping stuff myself all the time. And I don't want that to happen to my art. I just ship some stuff out today, so we'll see. So the rest of what I have is sketch card prints. Um, I'm going to go through the artist ones. The ones I've traded for and stuff first, before I get to official set stuff. Jeff Lafferty is one of my artist buddies online. I go on his show, his talk, his art cast talk show, some mornings and draw while we bullshit. Um, and I got a few of these from him. He was he was doing sketch cards before sketch cards were cool, kinda, and he never did any for official sets. But these are really high quality for his own um, his own prints. You know, he signed and numbered each one. He individually like cut these out and glued a backing on them, so they're real thick, high quality cards. The art looks awesome. I would like to get some more from him. But part of my <laughs> collection is uh, I kind of feel like I try and get at least one thing from each artist that I like, and once I I mean I could collect forever and never get everything I want, so I'm not going to try and go overboard with any given artist, but I really like to see what other artists do. I don't remember if I said that or if that was on a video that cut off, but I like to be able to see what other artists do on the same size and sometimes with the same materials that I do, so I'm doing sketch cards. I like to to pick up other artists' sketch cards. Here's some more of Eric Muller's. We did a trade, like I said. I thought these came out really nice. Um, these are these two are a little smaller. I'm not sure why. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, I liked all those. His art. I said I told you he does almost everything in red and blue, <laughs> and you can see that. Uh, let's see, this is Jonathan Myers. He's another artist who... I really, he does a lot of cool fantasy type stuff. In fact, he just recently, today or yesterday, made this declaration that he's not doing sketch cards anymore or fantasy art, which is kind of a bummer. Um, he did kind of a Dungeons & Dragons related series. That might be one of them. Which I'm hoping he prints up at some point. I'd like to get those. Um... 
but I just I did a trade with him too for you know nine or ten whatever we got prints um, these I literally cut out of uh, sketch card mania the book which you should check out <laughs> by Randy Martinez I think Randy Martinez and Denise Vasquez those two little Vasquez two little lovebirds did most of this artwork if not all of it there might be something from a different artist here um, I actually these were like perforated <laughs> and I actually to just tore them out of the book and I trimmed off the perforated edges so they'd look nicer I don't know what that is oh that Floyd gave me that and it's a little business card or something um, I did work for collector crate which is kind of a bummer because it folded and that was bad news. Uh, but a couple other artists did did work for them too. And if you signed up for Collector Crate, you got a sketch card print with your order. So he commissioned us artists to do three um, three sketches per month, one only one artist per month. So I did a trade with the other two artists I know of that did them Emily Tester who does awesome graphite work as you can see and Stephen Birch I almost there's a Stephen Birch and a Stephen Burkett that I've traded with so it's hard for me to keep them straight but he's got some cool stuff too and he signed the front that's a cool idea I should do that when I send out my own print what else um, I think this stack is all my own original so here's a fun one I didn't think of the guy's name who drew this for me. I did a Secret Santa <laughs> MMA card trading group. And this was about three years ago when I was first starting and just did the uh, UFC Bloodline sketch cards for the first time. And the dude knew that I was the artist. And he busted out this little uh, bad boy. I love BMMAC, Buy MMA Cards, website for trading. Um... <laughs> it's just a joke, but it was funny. Oops. Oh, jeez. Now, uh, now the condition is ruined. I'm not going to be able to resell it. Oh, a bunch of my old sketch cards that I either haven't finished or... Whatever. This was a cool, uh, cool find out of the quarter bin at a trading card show. You sketch it! These must have come in some sort of Topps product. 2010. Um where the collector could do a sketch card on this and send them in and try and get hired by Tops or something along those lines. <laughs> when I saw this blank in the quarter bin, I was like, I got to have that. That's awesome. So those are all the ones I've got from other collect or from other artists. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm looking for other artists who do prints of their sketch cards. I wish more artists did it. Most artists do prints of larger work and or um, what are they called books like a sketch book with a bunch of their artwork but I'd like to find more artists who do that who do prints of their sketch cards here's one of my own originals that has a funny story so I'll tell it real quick Topps Museum Collection this will be a good segue into the next prints I'm showing for museum collection baseball and football Artists draw one-on-one sketch cards, which is what this is. And then Tops actually picks some of their favorites and reprints them as an insert set. Oh, I skipped a couple here. Time out. Time out. A couple more artists. These are more. These are Stephen Birch. Not Burkett. <laughs> I got his on the other side, I guess. And Damien Arengo. He does mostly sports stuff, but I, he did some cool Star Wars ones there too that I really like. I don't know what he uses. Almost looks, I'm sure it's colored pencils or something, but it almost looks like crayons sometimes. Um, and I think he prints his own. Stephen Birch, I think, prints his own. Um, that's another reason I like to trade with other artists to see how they're going about getting their prints done? Are they printing them on their own? Are they going through some sort of printer? Because I'm looking at my own options too. So this is a sketch card I did of 
Bruce Suter, legendary baseball pitcher, a reliever primarily. And I saw this pop up on eBay. So this was pack inserted. I saw it pop up on eBay because I was doing a search for my own name. And the guy had it incorrectly listed as Goose Gossage. And I'm like, come on, you got to be kidding me. I wrote the player name right on the back. And just because the guy has a silly mustache that looks like Goose Gossage is, you think it's Goose Gossage. And then, lo and behold, nope. I'm the idiot. I wrote Goose Gossage on the friggin' card. I guess when I was signing the backs, I just had a brain fart. I knew who it was. I mean, I knew who my list of players to draw was, and I think the mustache threw me off, and when I signed it, I wrote Goose Gossage. So, I actually got the card back from the guy and did a new drawing for him, and so I will eventually be selling this one. I do like to keep some of my own artwork sometimes, but I'll probably try and sell that one at some point. But that was... <laughs> I was like, come on, Brad. Idiot. So anyway, I was just saying, tops. I wish more companies did this. These are all reprints. It says the artwork feature on... Oh, no, that's not what I was looking for. Anyway, these were all sketch cards originally. They were some of the favorite ones or whatever. Um, so some of these are mine. These top few are mine. And these are not the one of ones. So you could get prints, reprints of them. And so I picked up as many of these as I could because I like to get what the other artists, see what the other artists do, too. This is um, Dan Berggren's, I think. He's one, he's a great artist. So he did some of these, and I know that Gary Kazeel did some in the past. Brian Kong, I believe, did, he did a bunch of them. Anyway, I, I just love to be able to grab these for relatively cheap and see other artists' sketch cards. I'm not going to go through the whole, there's, you know, several seasons of those. And I don't have any complete sets, but I've picked up what I can. They also did the same for football. James Henry Smith was the artist for, I think, all of the football sets. And he does phenomenal sketch cards. i um, not quite sure how he gets them so photorealistic, but good for him. That's great. Um, so I got a bunch of those. That's my third year doing museum collection baseball. And let's see what's on the other side here. Um, these are some other official sets that have done use sketch card artwork for their cards. They, these are by Viceroy Cards. This set is called The Deep. It's nine cards of you know underwater sea life and whatnot. Um, and Insect Day, insect, Insects. I like how these cards are. So it shows a different sketch card from a different artist, shows the artist's name, but like, so these two are bees, and these two are praying mantis, and I thought that was a neat way to do it. So even though there's only nine cards in the set, you get 18 sketch cards out of the nine cards. Um, this was, I think, a promo from the, for their space set. This is the only one I have from their space set. Gary Kazeel did that. He's one of the top dogs in sketch cards, in my opinion. Uh, back to the Stephen B's. Stephen Burkett, I did a trade with him for these rugby cards, which he did in some sort of official set. I'm not sure what they are, but, you know, thought they were pretty neat. And they're high quality on um, the print job. I don't know who he used to print. Actually, I asked him, and he didn't know either, because he... He didn't print them himself. Let's see here. Um, here's a couple bigger companies that have used sketch cards. These are Cryptozoic Women of Legend, Gale's Picks. These are some of the only, um, well, I was going to say some of the only comic ones I have. But these are all sketch card prints. They're on a foil card. They're pretty awesome. I'm familiar with some of these artists. 
Um, I think I got that on eBay fairly cheap. This was a pickup. These are tough Star Wars. Um, a little subset, and I suspect these might have been sketch cards originally. I don't know that for a fact. They're clearly drawn, which is, makes them cool to begin with. You know, Star Wars has like their galaxy sets. They show tons of artwork. Wish it would at least show who the artist is on these. I'd like to dig and find out on that one. Um, and I'm getting pretty close to the end there. This is one other really cool thing. Um, WWE, WWF, Jerry the King Lawler, <laughs> famous wrestler, also dabbles in art. He's pretty darn good. And he drew the sketch cards for these wrestling cards. And so you could get the originals in packs or there was the little subset. So that's awesome. Um, I'd like to pick up some more of those. I used to be a huge wrestling fan as a kid, but not, not so big on today's wrestling. This is a company I'm now working for called Chad Pops. Um, I got their uh, Naughty Nurses set. So big boobs. Woo! Some of these are sketch cards. Some of them are larger originals. I don't know which are which, um, but I just got them all just because I think they're cool anyway. What else we got? This is this is the deep set. I already kind of I showed you the set, but there are, these are some of the individual cards. Anyway, I'm a big fan of when companies do prints of sketch cards in their sets. I wish more companies did it. I wish more artists did, did it. If you were an artist and you got some prints of your own artwork, I would be open to a trade. Unfortunately, at this moment, most of what I have is MMA stuff to trade, but that's all right. And I don't even care if you print them up on your own printer. I want to see them. I want to have them in my hand and put them in my collection. Um, but I'd like to see more artists getting, you know, decent quality prints done, too. And there's a lot of different options for how to go about that. Um, like I said, I mentioned Iconics. I'm going to use them again. I would recommend them. Let's see. Did I show everything I wanted to show? I guess so. I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a pretty long video just to look at my collection, but I thought maybe some of you guys would think it's kind of neat to see. Whether you're an artist or a collector, um, see that somebody out there is digging the sketch cards. And like I said, I'm just too cheap to, um, too cheap to pay much for other artists' sketch cards because I'm trying to make money myself as an artist. So can't make money if I'm always buying stuff. Um, that's why I like to trade. And I do have some originals I would trade, but I I tend to shy away from that. I'll, I'll trade the ones that I um, that were more like experimental or kind of quicker sketches. Because I'm not really going to sell those. So, I don't know. Maybe, that's a, maybe it sounds bad if I say it that way, but I can't really... I can't really afford to spend two hours on a drawing and then trade it. Um, so I should probably show some of the ones I am willing to trade. I guess I got those close by. Let's do that real quick. If I can find them. Then I'll wrap this up. Ugh. All right, let's see. Boy. Gotta be careful not to give you too many. This is my box that I carry around with me everywhere. It's got everything I'm working on and everything. I have, you know, a bunch of my originals in here. <laughs> and the stuff from official sets that I can't show yet. Ooh. Very secretive. So anyway, what do I have in here that I would actually trade that I would trade? A bunch of these Star Wars ones. And Labyrinth and a Grim. That's me as a zombie. I won't be trading that. Anyway, stuff like this I would trade for, you know, similar work just to get something cool and original from another artist. Um, Labyrinth. Hoggle. Alright. I got a Voldemort in here that I would trade too. Let me see if I can find that one real quick. I spent a little more time on it. Oh yeah, Voldemort and the Grizzly Bear. 
I would trade those as well. <laughs> so if you're watching this and you want to trade, hit me up. If not, hey, I hope you just enjoyed seeing my collection. I've enjoyed collecting it. All right, you guys. Have a good one. I haven't been doing too many art cast type videos, but like I said, I'm doing Jeff Lafferty's show in the morning um, sometimes. So look him up on YouTube and or Patreon. In order to see the live shows at this current moment, you have to be a patron of his. But that's cool. I recommend it. He's a good artist and a good dude. All right. Later, guys.